Hey Virgos, welcome to my channel. I'm here doing your October monthly. Um, this is for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. This will not resonate with everybody, so take what fits, leave what don't, and make sure you check your other signs. All right, wow. First two cards out, the Ace of Pentacles and the Six of Wands. So right now, you guys are, in the month of October, feeling very excited about a new life. Um, given a, a chance, a gift from the universe to to go forward and um, follow a dream of yours, a passion, um, finding financial um, success, new beginnings in relationships. You guys are just have a excited, um, new, fresh outlook and attitude towards life in October. Um, you guys are going to be feeling very, very successful um, in terms of finances, your wealth, um, your financial wealth, your emotional wealth, um, spiritually, all areas of your life, especially um, especially those financially. You guys are going to come into a new start, a new beginning somewhere um, that you're going to find victory. You're going to be acknowledged for the work that you do. Um, some of you were taken for granted at a job. You could be moving forward to a new job. Um, yeah, this is just a new start, a fresh, a fresh, clean slate. And you guys have a lot of excitement towards that. So... Yeah, in your guys' um, practical thinking, you guys are making decisions, making choices. For those of you who are stuck before, you're moving forward and making a decision to choose you, to um, choose this new beginning that is being gifted to you from the universe, for learning all your karmic lessons, for, for getting through all your trials and tribulations um, up to this point in life, and and you're being given a whole new beginning in the month of October. You have made a choice. If you are choosing between two people, um, you have narrowed that down to one. Um, if you had a choice between two jobs, you you now know where you are headed and in what direction. Um, and you're very excited about it. Um, there could be a fire sign in your life, um, in your emotional comfort um, position, you have the princess of wands, something new, a new beginning, a new relationship with a fire sign, um, could be Sagittarius, um, particularly, but, um, any fire sign, Leo and Aries is here as well, but this female or this person, I'm sorry, that you have, um, made a choice to, to have this new beginning with, they're going to bring you much comfort. Um, this is somebody that you have had your eye on for a while. Um, you could have possibly been with them in the past being they were a choice. Um, <clears throat> but you're gonna, you're gonna find a lot of victory with this person and, um, a lot of emotional and a lot of emotional success and career success. Some of you are changing all new careers as well. All right, so, um, yeah, you guys are opening up communication with somebody. Um, you could be um, starting a, yeah, so you're opening up communication with this person about what you want in life, your pleasures, your um what entertains you, what you're just learning this person all over again. For some of you, you are going to um, move forward with a career in communication, could be speaking um, publicly or on the internet, having like a blog or a vlog. Um, but yeah, also you're going to be receiving a lot of, uh, a lot of information coming in via email, text, um, some sort of um, technology is where you're receiving some communication from that's going to give you this brand new start and make you feel very um, successful up to this point and where you're headed in the future. 
you guys are really taking a more grounded approach um, with understanding what is going on, with understanding and thinking through what it is that you want. You're no longer allowing someone else to make your choices for you. You are um, finding success and becoming a very stable, grounded um, foundation for whatever this new life you're building has become. Uh, your people are drawn to you. You're very warm, nurturing, loving. Um, yeah, and you're just starting to understand life in a whole new way. You guys are definitely awakening in the month of October, end of September. Um, yeah, but you're, you're understanding the universe, understanding life in an all new, a whole new light, <clears throat> a whole new direction. And you're going to be a very, uh, powerful force to deal with, uh, when you get to this stage, you are also in the month of October, no longer letting somebody make you feel bound and trapped to a situation. You, um, you are moving forward with somebody or somebody was feeling trapped in another situation besides you, but making this choice, standing firm in your decision, not letting anyone bully you around. Um, it is freeing you and this other person, this fire sign or, um, let's see here, fire or air, but we got, um, it's freeing you to have and start a life with this person. Yeah. So, um, some of you are going to take a risk. Um, some of you have a choice and you are leaving one to choose the other and the other may have a choice as well, but you're taking that risk of choosing the one that you truly want because you know that you're going to be okay single as well. You know, um, that you would rather be, um, with this person. Yes. But if that doesn't, uh, if that person doesn't choose you, then you know that you're going to be very successful um, single as well. Also, this is um, getting a hold on finances, getting control and balance back into your life, um, being in this relationship that you are currently in or just left um, made you feel very out of control. You felt like they made all your decisions for you. They made you feel trapped. But now you're taking a risk and going out on a limb and you are um, going after what it is that you want. And... Um, and it's bringing you much balance and success. Um, your next card out was the Four of Swords. So um, your wider vision is just expanding daily. The more you take your time to think things through, to think out your path on what you want, where you want to go, what you want to do, it's becoming clearer and clearer. Your vision is just opening up um, a million times um more than what it was. Also, you, for a group of you, you could have a choice between multiple people and you know what one you want to pick, but you're just taking a step back, allowing this person to get out of a stuck situation and you're going to be grounded and balanced and ready to move in as soon as this person um, is freed from the situation that they are bound by currently. All right. Oh, way too many. Okay. Um, your next card out is the moon card. So you're looking within. Um, for sometimes this card means secrets to see hidden truths. Um, but not, not in this, um, context of the cards around it. Um, this is going within and really focusing on your inner self. What is it that you want? Um, you're being real and truthful with your own self this, uh, this month. You are, um, also the full moon. Um, I'm recording this in September. The full moon that's on September 24th is very important to release um, to get rid of, uh, toxic energy, toxic toxins to our body. Um, you know, purging people out of your life, Virgo, dealing with, uh, addictions or, um, or anything that's harmful to ourselves. You are dealing with that. 
in the month of October. But that full moon, um, September 24th, is very important to begin for the month of October. Also, you're dealing with your shadow side. You're dealing with your fears. You're very, um, you're being very brave and facing your fears, and um, and that will uh, be well rewarded. You guys are also um, coming out of a time of being of juggling too much. You were trying to keep everybody happy and. All that ended up doing was throwing you out of balance and causing you to lose focus on what it is that you want. Um, you were too busy trying to keep everything in the air um, juggled that you couldn't focus on your inner being, your inner self. And so you just let it build up and let it build up until the waters, the rough waters in this card in the back, um, those began to feel like your emotions. You were all over the place. Um, you were not happy. Um, but the, you're coming out of that. Those emotions are going to level out. They're going to, you know, you're going to head into smooth sailing because you're finding a balance of what you want and what you have and whatever is um, lacking in between. You're finding the courage to face your fears and go after that. You're also um, purging out friendships that aren't working for you, um, that throw you out of balance, that are negative energy. Uh, you're starting to see people for who they are. All right, your last card here. The Prince of Swords. So um, you guys are kind of detaching from anybody um, and in isolating yourselves, you're going to come out of that very quickly here. You're, you are going to rush in and, um, like Prince Charming and sweep somebody, um, off their feet. You're coming in wielding the sword of honesty. You're coming in telling truths of the past, um, things that were possibly hidden, um, from your partner. Uh, this is going to happen very quickly. The time for period, the time frame, um, is, is ascending very fast. Um, your guys' bottom of the deck is the Queen of Cups. So a lot of love and emotion here. A lot of um, caring. And um, this move is being called for because what you are moving in toward is somebody who's going to love and care about you for a very long time, if not until the end of time. Um because she's in control of her emotions. She's grounded. She's um, beautiful. She loves with everything. And this can be a he as well. Obviously, um, with it being a general reading, it does go back and forth. So you guys are definitely moving into what you're being called to, um, where you're being called to. All right. What is a, whoa. All right, trust. This situation is calling for you to have faith. So um, you guys are worried. You are um, have a lot of anxiety about making this decision, about starting this new life, about starting over, making this choice, um, escaping whatever situation you are coming out of, dealing with your fears and your shadow side. And finding balance and everything's moving so quickly. It's calling for you to have trust. The universe knows what they're doing. Um, and you have to have faith in your journey. If you don't believe it, nobody will. So um, it's just calling for you to, to have faith in your path, your journey, your partner, um, yourself, most importantly. Because everything's going to work out all right and just um, the way it should. All right, your guys' advice for the month. What is Virgo's advice? All right. The two cards that came out for you guys is the High Lord of Gratitude and Service and the Spirit Whisperer. So, um... I'm going to read out of the book for these cards. So when the high Lord of gratitude and service 
um, comes into your life. It's just, um, it's here to help you find your true purpose um, today. Feeling gratitude for each moment you experience and loving what is and what has been. It'll remind you that every breath you take holds a deep and profound awareness. Through small actions and selfless service to another, you're automatically placed upon your highest path. Whether you're immediately aware of it or not, the presence of this ally lets you know that you're on the correct path to fulfilling your desires. You're also notified that your actions of service and gratitude, attitude of gratitude, will yield riches beyond your wildest dreams, as long as those riches aren't the goal you have in mind. Giving service with no thought of return is what is required of you today. This would also be a good time to write a list reminding yourself of all the things in your life and the world around you that you are grateful for. Let gratitude be your guide. Be thankful for all you learn from the, this person that you are, are true that you are around. Truly there are no friends and no enemies, just teachers along life's journey. Be grateful for the laughter and even for the tears. The gratitude is a magnet for true love in all forms. All right, and the Spirit Whisperer. Um, the Spirit Whisperer comes to you heralding the miraculous and inspired. She whispers guidance from the divine through your higher senses so that you can hear her wisdom and know her love for you. She is committed to helping you into it the next right action and steers you away from trouble. The Spirit Whisperer keeps you inspired to move forward, always knowing just in time the correct next step. She guides you to fulfill your highest purpose. When she appears, it is a sign of inspired ideas that with continuous action leads you to success. This is a very good omen. The spirit whisperer speaks of soul connections, past lives, and great learning through mutual mirroring. She will whisper how long, how short, how deep, and how sweet the relationship can be. There were soul bargains made even before both of you were born here, and the exploration is in order. You may move forward, but keep listening to the Spirit Whisperer for the lessons that the vulnerability of love brings. So make sure you are opening your heart up to this new path that you are being guided to take. And know that you too are always here for a soul's purpose, a life lesson, and that of which you can give back to the collective. Know your worth. You are valuable to anyone and everyone you meet. So, very amazing. Um, and your guys' bottom of the deck uh, is the Swan Queen. Transformation, intu intuition, and patience. Um, the, the, the Swan Queen asks you to look at your reflection. Um, look at the past events in your life. Um, you're going to have the ability to see the beauty that has transformed your life from ignorance to wisdom. Uh, she also lets you know that it's time to go within and seek the answers with your own intuition. Your guides are talking to you. So don't be looking outside yourselves for answers because the true, um, the true power and the true answers are within yourself. Um, now is the moment to meditate and ask for a vision. Meditation is so important right now. The power of psychic perception is inherent in you. And the Swan Queen will help you dive deep into your intuition and help you find the answers that you need. So this is also a reminder to allow time to transform your ideas into reality. Because nothing happens, um, you know, just like that. Nothing happens uh, in the blink of an eye. So... Virgos, very amazing month for you guys. Uh, so excited to see some of you finally moving in the direction that your soul's purpose is calling. So I hope you guys have an amazing month and I will see you soon with your channeled messages. As always, I send you love, light, and God bless.